When I was a youngster, before starting at the watchmaking school, I took anything apart that was mechanical, especially internal combustion engines. It was fascinating to see what was inside these devices. I also took my friend's watches to pieces, which I completely destroyed. I thought it would be a good experience to collaborate with a house on a human scale and independent. People who obtained this opus received for the first time the combination of the artistry of an ultimate jeweler and the finest in watchmaking. A word to describe this project which was achieved in a short time frame, with a certain degree of stress, is adventure. My inspiration today is uh, uh, the art, the music, the travel and the uh, architecture. The inspiration for the design for this opus was uh, the entrance of the boutique in, uh, at the 5th Avenue in New York and the life in New York too. The main challenge for creating this watch, uh, this, this 24 watches, the most complicated watches in the world, the tourbillon, in one year, I know, you know, uh, I'm a watchmaker, I can stop the time, but the time continues to, to, to go. The most enjoyable on this aventure was uh, the watch when you wind the watch, you know, and you see the first uh, tic-tac uh, of the tourbillon. You see the life in the watch. I hope the people uh, will see a, a nice face of the watch, like a, a nice uh, movie star, you know, like a Marilyn Monroe, or uh, uh, beautiful eyes, beautiful detail. I also wanted the movement to become the actor of the watch. Two words to describe this opus is charms and commedia dell'arte. What inspires me? Um, all uh, technical stuff. Um, particularly and especially antique um, technology, uh, science fiction, and um, uh, human uh, relationship. Uh, what inspired me to design this opus? Um, a digital display, uh, like a calculating machine, old and uh, new, and uh, mixed with a uh, shape of a uh, strange uh, starship. The main challenges were for me to work together with a big uh, team, uh, Harry Winston, and a small team, Vianne Alter, uh, to make together a watch never seen before. When I was young, I was uh, fascinated by the, um, uh, Harry Winston uh, story and um, I'm surprised uh, a lot of years after uh, to work with and to have my name close with this uh, mythical name Harry Winston. I hope people will see in this opus one step to go where no man has gone before. One word uh, for opus 3 a way to express one's art. My inspiration is sometimes to my dream, and I wake up and I draw uh, the different picture of the caliber I dream to the night. For the inspiration of Opus 4, it's Mikey Way, uh, moon, big moon, and uh, star, sky for this watch. More challenge for me, it's uh, to make um, uh, with one movement, minute bit too beyond, to have two faces with uh, two emotions different, one with many techniques and the other uh, more romantic for the night. We are the watchmaker of the shadow. It's a, 
it's very interesting the collaboration with Hermiston to step out uh, the shadow. I hope the people look at movement uh, high quality, high, very high complication, and uh, representative of uh, my manufacturer and the collaboration with uh, Irishstan. One world for my opus, still a dream. What in the beginning inspired me is my childhood. Um, I'm watchmaker, third generation in my family. You have on the side of Harry Winston, you have more uh, the sweet image of something very nice, very perfect. And on Uhrwerk, we have something very technical, very brut, very uh, dry, very uh, man, uh, masculine. To bring these two universes together, this is actually for us the challenge in Opus 5. A complication which is this Opus 5 um, minute retro hand uh, indication that bearing around the satellite carousel this is something a, a complication which was never made before so we had totally from zero on we had to invent that complication i hope the people can see and feel in opus 5 um, a, a watch making of today watchmaking and contemporary watchmaking um, something which is created by people of today with the possibilities of today and uh, the emotion of today um, for me to opus 5 in one word is a time ship what inspires me is the passion we both share for watchmaking and the compatibility we have, Stephen and I. Stephen on the purely technical side, and me on the artistic one. The Opus 6 adventure was uh, very challenging on every level. The idea was to be able to put the tourbillon, a complicated tourbillon, double tourbillon, in space. This was a big challenge, many difficult elements, the case, even the sapphire crystals, uh, which had a very particular shapes and forms were very challenging to, to be able to make in a very short space of time. We hope that uh, people will see in the Opus 6 really uh, the uh, very, very special uh, nature and uh, technicity uh, and the way that this can be uh, brought across uh, as a very artistic piece and the collaboration with Harry Winston gave us a fabulous framework uh, to work uh, together to achieve this goal. A word for this opus? I'm a, a watchmaker who creates movements. My watches are based on the movement, so I was not looking to design a watch. It was more to create a mechanic that is uh, attractive by itself. Finally, I don't have an inspiration to create, it's the creation itself that inspires me. The big challenge to create the Opus 7 was uh, to create a movement which is entirely visible, not uh, hidden behind a dial. Everything is visible and it has to be at its, its own aesthetics. It's always a pleasure to see the movement. I'm telling to myself, uh, how did I create this thing? How did I find all these little ideas to, to create it? And it's for me always a pleasure to, to see it again, how it works, how everything functions in this watch. I hope that uh, future generations will see in this watch a, a special step in history because it's a watch that's created from, from scratch, new ideas, new designs, new elements. For me, it, it was a big step to create it. The one world that describes the Opus 7 is Butterfly. What inspires me to design this piece, uh, the 80s, when I was a teenager, when I received uh, my first Casio watch uh, from my grandfather, it was the period of the beginning of the digital uh, art. The most difficult uh, in this challenge was to recreate uh, an electronic display 
but only with um, traditional mechanic. The most I enjoyed uh, in this uh, adventure uh, was a surprise. When I explained to people uh, this opus, uh, they all believed that it was an electronic display, but in fact it wasn't. I hope that uh, this opus will always provoke uh, an extreme emotion. Uh, or you love it, or you hate it. Three words to explain this opus. Um, audacity and tradition. Uh, it's different thing for the inspiration of this watch. Uh, first thing are the Mediterranean style, because I uh, create this piece during the summer break in Italy. And the most important inspiration are the jellyfish, because the jellyfish floating in the sea, like the diamonds floating in this watch. Uh, one of the main challenges uh, has been to put the diamonds in motion uh, to create emotion. And the challenge, you can understand, the diamonds are very heavy. We use 72 stones and make it move in a very, very accurate uh, rhythm. And uh, that was the technical challenge. I hope uh, other people uh, will see the, the purity that we, we, we try to put in this watch. Sculpture, one word, it's <laughs> a sculpture. My inspiration as person is nature, architecture, astronomy and kinematic, what is the study of the movement. My creative approach was to give uh, a shape to the time and we found a way to display that through the continuous movement of the planets. The great challenge to design this watch was to find an harmony between design, technique and emotion. It was really a dream to, to join, join the Opus family and to create a new watch with the old team. I hope that the others see the, the audacity, purity, technique and emotion of, of the watch. One word to describe Opus 10 is harmony. <laughs> 